buenos dias o buenas tardes clase. Um, this is part two of a video series for our frutas market next week. The first one hopefully you've watched to review or learn the fruits. Um, and so now we're going to learn how to buy a fruit smoothie um, or licuado de fruta. And first I'm going to go through the dialogue and you are just going to listen and then we'll have a quiz on that dialogue. So just listen and pay close attention so you're ready for the quiz. Okay? All right. You're coming to the fruit smoothie market. You want to buy a fruit smoothie and this is how you do it. And both um, parts are included in this dialogue. The seller who's going to be selling you the liquado, and also your part as the buyer. So the top part is always the buyer, and then the second part um, is the seller responding. Okay? All right. So, buenos dias, or buenas tardes, depending on what time of day you're buying your smoothie, Mark, your smoothie. Um, so then the person will probably just respond to you who's selling back to you, saying the same thing. So, buenos dias. Buenos dias. All right. ¿Cuánto cuesta el licuado? How much is the smoothie? Cuesta 100 pesos. It costs 100 pesos. And this right here, as you see, has um, a special outline because it's where you guys get to barter. And you can go back and forth between these two as many times as you have to to, to settle on a price. In most Latin American countries, you can haggle for a, or barter or negotiate a price for almost anything unless um, they have a specific menu set up with um, the prices. Then you probably won't barter. But if when you buy your smoothie, there's no specific price sign, you can always try to barter. It's, so here we go. This is where you can go back and forth to settle on your price. And the top, you're offering a different price than 100 pesos because that seems a little expensive to you. So, ¿se puede por 50 pesos? Can I get it for 50 pesos? And the seller will say either C. Sí. Or no, for 70 pesos. No, for 70 pesos. So, then you, you go back and forth until you settle on a price together. When you settle on a price, then you want to find out what flavors there are. They might have them listed, they might not. You can always ask. ¿Qué sabores tiene? What flavors do you have? Tenemos, and then they'll list them for you, or maybe they'll... Um, give you a sh uh, menu with a, with a list of um, flavors. So, tenemos fresa, piña, mango, we have strawberry, pineapple, mango, dame piña, por favor. Give me pineapple, please. And you can even mix flavors if... Um, you can ask for a couple different flavor smoothie if you want to. And so then that's where you would list them in this part right here. Dame piña y fresa, por favor. Give me pineapple and strawberry, please. Aquí tiene. And then I hand it to you. Aquí tiene. They might say any number of things, but aquí tiene is one thing. Here you go. And then this part is really important. Um, just being courteous is really an important part of your cross-cultural experience anytime and makes a really um, neat and good impression. So mm -hmm. before, be sure to, to remember your courteous phrases. And so, muchas gracias, buen día. Um, thank you very much. Good day to you. And they might respond, igualmente, gracias. Likewise, thank you. And then a phrase that they use in Mexico all very frequently is que le vaya bien, 
um, go well, may it go well with you. It just kind of is like safe, safe leaving. We have no really equivalent in English, with, and so I don't know how to translate that, but it's a polite phrase that you say to somebody when you're parting ways. Que le vaya bien or que te vaya bien. Okay. All right. Now... Now I'm going to give you a quiz. Prueba. Okay, so take turns going around the classroom answering these questions and doing a review of the dialogue. Okay. Cuanto cuesta? Choose which translation is correct. A, here you go. B, can I get it for? And C, how much is it? A, B, or C. Which is the correct answer? Translation for cuanto cuesta. Did you choose say? I hope so. All right. Because that's what it is. All right. Give me blank, please. Translates into Spanish as A, por blank pesos. B, dame. Uh, sorry, reading for it. Dame. Um, fresa, por favor. Que le vaya bien. Or D, de aquí tiene. Let me just read that one again. Give me blank, please. Translates as which answer in Spanish. A, por diez pesos. B, dame fresa, por favor. C, que le vaya bien. De aquí tiene. Give you five seconds. Correct. It translates as B. Dame fresa, por favor. Asking your flavor. All right. Fill in the blanks. So three different people can do this one. Number one. Cuesta cien. Cuesta cien fresas? No. Cuesta cien pesos? Sí. Pesos is the right answer. Número dos. Blank día. All right. Fill in the blank for número dos. Um, cuesta dia? No. It costs day. Buen dia? Si. Sí. Buen is the right answer. Buen dia. Numero tres. Se por cincuenta pesos? Fill in the blank. What's missing in that sentence? Se por cincuenta pesos? Se vaya por cincuenta pesos? No. Se puede por cincuenta pesos. Can I get it for fifty pesos? Se puede is the correct answer to fill in the blank for number three. Numero tres. Gracias. All right. Last one. So five different people can do this one. You're going to match the phrase on your left, I think it's on your left, um, with the phrase, the correct phrase on the other side, the right, your right. We're having a dyslexic moment because it's backwards right now to me. I'm reading everything backwards. Hmm. All right, so number one, buenos dias. Choose which one on the other side matches that phrase in English, the correct translation for buenos dias. Give you five seconds.
Did you choose they? I hope so. Good morning. Buenos dias. Número dos. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Did you choose letter E or A? How much is it? If so, you got it correct. Número tres. Se puede por... Did you choose C? C is correct. Can I get it for three pesos? Or whatever amount of pesos you choose there. Good job. Number four, numero cuatro, buenas tardes. Notice that buenas tardes is feminine and buenos dias is masculine. Just remember those so you don't get them mixed up. Buenas tardes and buenos dias. So numero cuatro, number four, buenas tardes. Correct, A or A, ah, good afternoon. And the last one, que te vaya bien. Hopefully you have deduced which one has not been used. Correct. It is be or be. Go well or may you travel well. I don't know how to translate that one. I don't know. It's just a very nice phrase to say. All right. There you go. So...